Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, we're going to be touring this Freedom Home. This is a Freedom Home by Scott Built, okay? It's cold out here, so let's go on in. Oh, pretty. All right. Again, this is a Freedom Home by Scott Built. Let's take a look at her and see what she has. All right, so when you come in, look at this huge living room, you guys. This living room is huge. That's the front door and you got those windows there and you have all of that space in the living room. Love the fact that even though it has carpet, you got your cutout right there so you can leave your shoes at the door. And then when you look out into the kitchen and dining room, this is your view. Really pretty, really, really, really pretty. Now, this is your dining room. It gives it kind of a little separation with that short wall right there. Love this huge dining room. It has a chandelier. Now, this is a big space for a dining room when it's an open concept like that. You have all of this room. You, you could absolutely uh, do a buffet table in here as well as put a big table. See, you see there's a plant over there in the corner. So you could do a lot with this. I love the crown molding in here really pretty it gives it a more formal look i absolutely love it and then uh the vent in the floor can absolutely this is a freedom home it could absolutely be put in the ceiling versus the um in the floor over in the kitchen you got this big uh island right here love whenever you have the cutouts on the side because you can put some cute decor there you have a uh, cabinet and drawer space in this counter. This is a wide counter, you guys. This counter is wide. So, yeah, you got lots of space to have company stand around or have seating around so that your company, you can enjoy your company while you're cooking and entertaining. Love, love, love the tray ceiling. Beautiful. I would probably change the um, pendant lighting to something a little more fancy as well as the chandelier and I would have them match. But other than that, I think this is super cute. Look at that super wide window over the kitchen sink. It has uh, two areas that can open. Uh, so yeah, this is really cute. Does it push out? Is that what it does? I don't want to break anything. We'll leave it alone. <laughs> yep, but you got lots of cabinet space, lots of island space. You have a space over there for a little coffee station if you like, or you can put it wherever you want, maybe somewhere with more room, but you got outlets in each section. So you can put whatever you like uh, on the counters. You also have a pantry. Now this is a farmhouse door. Change it if you don't like it. Plenty of pantry space, look at this. You can go in and you got pantry space to the right and straight ahead. So you got lots of room to fill up this pantry. Lots of room, I love this pantry. This is, this is a surprise because I didn't expect to be able to walk in here like it was a walk-in closet. Look at that. That's the door to the pantry. Okay, so you got lots of space in this pantry. Really pretty. Again, change the farmhouse door, just get a regular door if you don't like that. Get a swing door. Get the door that's closed at the bottom and open at the top, whatever you like. Over here is the utility room and back door. Your washer and dryer goes there. You've got a uh, upper cabinet, which is always nice. I'm gonna come over here because I don't want you to see the master 
bathroom yet, but you do have access to the laundry room from the master bedroom. So I'll show you that when we go back around. These are those nice drywall, finished drywall walls. Finished drywall. These walls are finished drywall. Is that how you say it? Because drywall wall didn't sound right. Okay. These walls have the finished drywall, which is always a nice feature. Again, this is a Fleetwood home, so you have some of the upgrades in this one that um, you wouldn't have in some of the other carriers. This is a really nice home. I'll have all the information of the home in the description box. Now, over here to the right of the front door are the guest bedrooms. You have the short hall here. To the left, you have the guest bathroom with a transom window. Now, that's a, a wide transom window. Brings in a lot of light. Got cabinet space, upper and lower. Really nice. I'm so sorry for the fire alarm. This is the second home that I've been in. I think these homes are set up and they have lights and everything. So they've been here for a while and they just need to change the batteries. All right, guest bedroom number one. Really nice. Nice size guest bedroom. Has the darker car carpet in this guest bedroom. Really nice. And then you have a walk-in closet here. I need to find the light to this closet so you can see. All right, so this is a nice walk-in closet. Look at all that space. Huge walk-in closet. Really nice. And then I'll step in the closet and show you how big the bedroom is. Really nice. All right, so that's bedroom number one. And here is guest bedroom number two. Looks about the same size. Let's see what the closet looks like. Again, I need to turn on the light. Sorry. I don't come in the homes and pr prepare them. So sometimes I have to walk into a dark room. Need to bring the shelving around to make use of the space. But this is another nice size closet. And in the closet, that's the bedroom. All right, so we've seen the two guest bedrooms, living room, dining room, and kitchen. Let's go take a look at the master. Ooh, you got tray ceiling in here. Really nice. It's the master bedroom. Let me step in the closet so you can see how big the bedroom is. Really nice. Love the tray ceiling. There it is. Really nice. We'll look at it from over here. Perfect. All right, so this is the master closet. It's a little on the small side. Uh, it's long, but it's not wide. Me and my husband couldn't share. This would be mine. And he would take one of the bedrooms like we do at our house. But that is the master closet. And then this is the master bath. You've got your double sinks right here. <laughs> Got your double sinks right there. Toilet next to the sink. You got a corner tub right there. Frosted glass over the tub. And you've got storage space over there as well. Love the neck rest in these types of tubs. And you got a place for your arms. 
Can you see it? So that when you lay back, relaxing, you can really just give a good stretch out. <laughs> this bathroom connects to the laundry room so you don't have to leave your dirty clothes in the bathroom. You can throw them in the washer when you take them off. And then you've got your shower behind the door and it has double seating. All right, so that is the master. Let's walk into the utility room and show you. All right. So that's the master. Really nice. All right, you guys. Again, this is a Fleetwood home. I'll put which model number. She probably is going to be on the screen. This dealership doesn't post prices, so you're welcome to give them a call. All of their information will be down in the description box, okay? Thanks so much for watching the mobile home diva. Have a great day.